my first puff adder. This is the best day ever. It's not a particularly big puff adder. It actually looks like it could be a male, just because he's quite robust. And it doesn't look like he's moving very fast with, well, his movement today. He's just sort of crawling around the ground. And off he goes. So with puff adder, the males are short and stubby, whereas the females tend to be slightly longer. And they can actually get quite big. Oh my goodness, Eggsy, you've never seen a puff adder. So Eggsy, of course, aka Zander, uh, is the editor. He's sitting in final control watching, and this is the first time he's ever seen one. Very cool, Eggsy, so that's awesome. They're one of my favorite snakes. Let's see if we can get another view of it, Viam. What I'll do is I'll pull up next to it. Uh, they're really quite lovely. Again, we used to see many, many in the Eastern Cape, but we used to see really big ones. I've seen, look at this. I don't know, can you get that, Viam? Is it too close? Oh, wow, look how cool this is. This is fantastic. It's not a particularly old puff adder either. And they are lovely snakes. So a big adult can get to about a meter or so, so three feet, somewhere around there. Actually, let me put this light on it. That might be a little bit better. How's that? Yes. And they move, well, it's moving off into the grass now in search of something to eat. And they're amazing snakes. Now, fortunately, they have a bad reputation in South Africa for being aggressive. And I dispute this a hundred and fifty percent every experience i've ever had with a puff adder has not been an aggressive one they are very much relaxed i've almost stood on one kid you not earphones in went for a run came back was drinking water walked back to my room was not looking where i put my feet because i thought i'm so close to my room and i looked down something made me look down and as i looked down at my foot about half a ruler's length away there was a puff adder frozen with fear and you can see, and and yeah it didn't do anything it just sat there and i moved out of the way took two steps back and then it carried on with its day and didn't bother me i've uh, well yeah i've seen many on walks the problem with them is those as you've seen they don't really run away not run away but slink away like the other snakes tend to do when they are spotted they they've got a sort of a, a chilled attitude if you will and they are so camouflaged, they sit curled up in the ground, that if you stand on one, if the same thing would happen if you stand on a dog's tail. What is it going to do? It's going to turn around, it's going to bite you. And that's what the problem is. And I think out of all the snakes in South Africa, I think the puff adder causes uh, well, the most hospital trips. Now, not necessarily life-threatening. They've got a cytotoxin to their venom. So as long as you get to a hospital and your doctor will tell you to keep it clean, you know, keep the wound clean because it causes necrosis, so rotting of the flesh, which is not great, and muscle. Um, so you'll probably lose uh, quite a large chunk and you'll have a severe scar. But as long as you don't get a secondary infection, that's the killer, then you'll actually be all right.